In this video, we are going to show how the eFlows for HPC tools have been used to deploy and execute a workflow in an HPC infrastructure. The first thing that a user has to do before deploying or executing a workflow is to set up the credentials to allow the eFlows for HPC services to access the HPC system with your account. This is done using the HPC Workflow as Service CLI with the option to generate an SSH key. This command returns a token to identify the SSH key pair generated and the part of the SSH key pair. This part of the SSH key has to be added in the authorized keys file in the HPC cluster. And the user has to keep the token to provide it at the deployment or execution phases. The workflow is stored in the workflow registry. For each workflow, we can see a Tosca description, a PyComs code, and a YAML file with the software requirements. We can import the workflow in the Alien for Cloud software. To do this, we have to provide the location of the Tosca description inside the workflow registry and then click the import button to get the workflow description in Alien for Cloud. To deploy the workflow in the HPC site, we have to create an application in the Alien for Cloud using the imported workflow description. Once the application is created, we can deploy it. In the deployment part, we can inspect the Tosca topology, where we have the abstract description of the HPC site, the workflow deployment elements, and the execution elements. To deploy the workflow, the user has to specify the user ID in the HPC site, the generated token for the SSH key to access the HPC site, and the location where the images will be deployed in the HPC site.
The final step is the selection of the HPC site, where we will deploy the workflow. During the deployment, we will see how the different steps will be executed in the Alien 4 Cloud, the Container Image Creation Service and the Data Logistics Catalog. In the first step, we can see the container image creation service is creating the container image. After the creation, we can see that the image is transferred to the HPC site by the data logistics service. The other parts of the deployment are just executing the initialization of the rest of the Tosca components. If we try to see the available workflows with the HPC Workflow as Service CLI, we can see that there is no available workflows. To make the workflow available to the users, we have to add some metadata in the deployed application. In the Alien 4 Cloud, we have to specify the workflow to expose and the authorized users. Then, if we try the command again, we can see the workflow in the list. The final users can use the HPC Workflow as a Service CLI to trigger the published workflow. They have to specify the ID of the published workflow together with the user ID and the token to access the HPC site using the generated SSH key. As a parameter for the application, we have to specify the input dataset for the full order model simulations. This dataset is described in the data catalog. In the workflow execution, we have to specify the object ID of this dataset and the path where we are going to store and run the workflow.
During the execution, we are going to see the job submitted in the HPC. How this execution is managed by the comms runtime in the comms monitor and how the data movements are executed in the data logistics service. The ROM will be appeared in the model repository at the end of the execution. After triggering the workflow, we can see how the DLS is transferring the input dataset. When this data transfer is complete, we can see that a new job is submitted in the HPC site to execute the ROM training computation. In the comms monitor, we can see the nodes allocated by the scheduler and the generated graph and how the different tasks are executed in the assigned resources. Once the execution is finished, we can see the input data and the compute ROMs in the HPC side. We can also see that the data pipelines to store the ROM in the model repository have been executed. Now the models can be accessed from the model repository.